So what I have here is a software called Tracker, and it's actually able to capture the motion and path of any pre-recorded video. So let's take a look at a video recorded about half an hour ago. And this you can actually download uh, on YouTube. If you can't download it directly from the YouTube website, then just go on to keepvid.com and then you can download it remotely. So in this software over here, what you can do is that you can actually track the path that this red estromobile experiences as it rolls down this ramp. First thing we gotta do is that you'll notice I have a ruler in the background, so we have to create a coordinate system. So we're going to create a calibration stick and we're gonna define the definition of one meter, not as that tiny little blue thing here, but as this entire meter stick. Now if you really wanna be fussy about it, you could actually just zoom in and double check that the measurements are correct. Like there, and up here. Now another thing that you want to set up is your coordinate system. You can see that this is down an incline, but let's say we want this incline to be the x-axis. Well, we can set that as well. So we'll place our coordinate system starting from the origin, which, you know what, I'll just define it as somewhere up, no, no, I'll do here first, and then I'll shift it. So I could actually reorient my coordinate system. Again, you may want to zoom in just to double check to make sure that your coordinate system is aligned the way you want it to be. And let's say I want the origin to start somewhere, I don't know, let's say right up here at the tip of the ride. Okay, and we're going to observe uh, the motion that this ride will experience as it rolls down. So now we got to tell the software that we're tracking this vehicle. You could try the auto track uh, routine, however, I am not successful with that myself. So I'll do a manual tracking. by creating a point mass, okay? And while I'm doing this, I'll actually hold down the shift button and you'll see when you hit the shift button, a new icon shows up. This is the icon you want for tracking. So you'll start up all the way up to the front of the vehicle and you'll track the first frame, then the second, then the third. If I get this thing out of the way, you'll actually notice that it's cracking everything real time. And your first few data points might be rough, but if you collect enough data points, you'll notice that this relationship here is definitely not linear. And if you're patient enough, you can capture the ride as it goes down completely. I'm just gonna cheat and I'll show you what I did earlier on. And here's the complete tracking of the entire journey of the vehicle as it rolls down the ramp. Pretty neat, isn't it? Now it's pretty good at uh, showing you the position time graph. As for the velocity time graph, it is a little bit rough. You could improve it slightly by switching over the algorithm to one that which smooths out the data points. It helps a little bit. Uh, as for the AT graph, unfortunately it's a write-off. But if you look carefully on the VT graph, you can see that after one second, this object is moving at 15 centimeters per second. 